Action commenced last Sunday in the East as the inaugural Tobago Windwalk Cricket Community 10 Overs League, hosted by the CNDB Sports Club, bowled off. Our sports crew was at Roxborough, where the event was held, and Kanisha George brings us the details. Ten communities were well represented as the Tobago One World Cricket Community 10 Overs League bowled off. Secretary of Education, Youth Affairs and Sports, Gary Melville, pledged his support to the league, indicating that he views the league as an avenue to build camaraderie and to strengthen community ties. I saw that as an opportunity for the Division of Education, Youth Affairs and Sport to be involved with helping communities in Tobago coming together. Too often today, these days, you know, people, people are so far apart and divisive and everything else. But by bringing together teams from, all the, from different communities around Tobago, we have an opportunity to develop camaraderie and friendship, to get to know each other better, and to be able to even sell the good qualities of your community that you come from, because people get to know you and get to know about your community. Meanwhile, Tobago Cricket Association's president, Bill Brown, urged the teams to continue on earthing talents in their communities, so as to build the cricket stock on the island. I have seen a part of the last competition, and I, I, I can tell you that I saw good cricket, I saw fun, I saw camaraderie, and I trust that this same attitude would be, would be um, transferred here. We're going to see this thing here. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad this evening, as Mr. Melville said, it connects the communities together. And even though you may not win the competition, I pray that you would win many friends. The competition will run just over one month and will pay out the biggest ever first prize in Tobago of $10,000. The 10 competing communities are Roxborough Stoppers, Roxborough Gunners, Canaan Bonacord Sunrisers, Runny Mead Mariah Rising Youths, John Dial Run Things, Northside Outlaws, Crown Point Expendables, Concordia United, Mason Hall and Goodwood Challengers. Kenisha George, Channel 5 Sports.